Councilor Sinino, I've got another question for you. If you're going to ask me about singing in the liquor store, you got to come up with something. Oh, it doesn't, have to be, it doesn't have to be the liquor store. This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by We Use Coins. Dot com. Councilor Sanudo? No, I'm oh. Councilor Kyle Bannister. Oh, that's right, I recognize you. Uh, question. Uh, your uh, liquor commission has essentially, or arguably, outlawed singing in the stores. Do you support this? Uh, I've never heard of that before, actually. Do you vote to support them when they want funding and so forth? Uh, yes, I have supported our liquor system. Should you be supporting them if they're banning singing? I've never heard anything about that. I'd have to look into it. I can send you a link. That'd be great. Thank you. All right, thank you. Card. I appreciate that. I think I can give you one, too, maybe, if I can make one hand do the job. <laughs> How do you respond to uh, allegations that you're a former supporter of state sales and income tax? Where is that from? I read it in two or three different places on the net. Is it not true? It's not true. You never supported either? Correct. Okay. Campaigns. People make accusations. They're not always true. That is, that's definitely the case. Thank you. Here's my email address if you want to send me that. All right, thanks so much. You can have one of those if you want it. I Thank never you. can. Oh, I should get there too. <laughs> thanks so much. Thank you. Hey, Councillor Sununu. Yes. Question. Did you know that your liquor commission has essentially, arguably, banned singing in the liquor stores? And do you support this? <laughs> I don't know anything about it, but I imagine um, when people come out of liquor stores, they're probably doing a lot of singing after they buy after they buy the product. But I don't know anything about this. All right, she's ready to start. <laughs> Thank you. They're ready. She's calling. Councilor Sinino, got another question for you. If you're gonna ask me about singing in the liquor store, you gotta come up with something. Oh, it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be the liquor store. Okay. Uh, the uh, uh, the state has, I guess, a corporate tax that is even higher than Massachusetts. Let's get out of the road. Yeah, it's even higher than Massachusetts corporate, uh, from what I understand, tax. And I'm just wondering, to what extent are you part of the problem by having voted for some spending you didn't have to? Uh, what spending did we vote for that we didn't have to? Oh, I would. I they, mean, well, you the, voted to fund the state police, right? And they arrest people for running. You know, what they least they they. Are you stolen. saying that we don't need state police? Well, we I'm not sure if I would go that far, but should you be funding them if they've got enough money to take a reporter's camera away from him? I, and, well, I, I'm not commenting on that. I yeah. absolutely agree that uh, the state police has done an incredible job with the minimal amount of money that we've provided them in the state. C Commissioner Barthamis and Colonel Quinn are, have done an exceptional job in the state, so I'm happy with virtually every dollar we, we've given them. Have you ever so. tried to cut it or limit it? Uh, well, again, uh, the executive council doesn't control the budget. We control individual contracts, and yep. we, we we vote on those and approve those. Um, I can. You can always say no, say, though, right? Yeah, we've said. I've definitely said no to certain contracts within the Department of Safety, without a doubt. Now, uh, safety, I, I couldn't say. I mean, uh, we literally do thousands of contracts a year. Uh, I couldn't tell you whether those were contracts specifically having to do with state police or other parts of safety. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I don't want to comment one way or another, but uh, no, we, I, I think it's pretty safe to say I've said no to pretty much every department in, in one way or the other. But for the most part, with the limited funds that we have in the state, I think these guys do a pretty darn good job. On, limited on the funds. I don't know. The state has enough money to arrest marijuana users. I think it's got too much money. <laughs> well, I, we would disagree on that one. <laughs> you think okay. people should be arrested for smoking marijuana? Uh, no, well, no, I don't know the, the exact case that you're referring to. Well, I mean, any case. I mean, there's hundreds, thousands of them. Uh, well, if it's... If, Again, no, without getting into the details as to the viability of the law, if it's against if it's against the law, then you know if they're just if the state police are upholding the law, they're upholding oh, the law. Oh, please! It's against the law to run Little League on Saturday or on Sunday. It's against the law to run Little yes, League. Yes, I think Sunday? it's still on the books. I, you know, a I lot. I don't know about that. Is that true? I don't know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. All right. You don't enforce that. All right. All right. Thanks Thank so much, much, Counselor. Absolutely. Take care. Are you in favor of this? Then why do you use this? Instead, maybe you should use this. Spending a government's currency does more than anything else to prop up that government. Please starve the monster by using other currencies when you can. The most exciting of these is Bitcoin, the currency of peace. Inflation-resistant, 
It's the easiest money to send and receive over the web. Get started at WeUseCoins.com.